What if I told you there's a black hole in space that breaks every known law of physics? Something we weren't supposed to find, something that shouldn't be real. It's called LB1 and it changed everything. You see, black holes are born when massive stars die. Scientists believe these stars couldn't create black holes larger than 20 times the size of our sun. But then, LB1 was discovered. It's over 70 times more massive than our sun and it sits in the Milky Way, quietly watching like it's been waiting. It shouldn't exist, it defies everything we knew. And here's the most terrifying part. We didn't find it because it was pulling stars in. We found it because it was too quiet. No light, no pull, no sign of movement, almost like it wanted to be found. Some physicists think it might not even be a black hole, but something older, something we haven't named yet. We look up at the stars and think we understand them, but space keeps secrets. And some of them are looking right back Matter. There's a strange force stretching the universe apart faster than ever before. Scientists call it dark energy, but the truth is they don't know what it is. It's not matter. It's not light. It doesn't behave like anything we've ever seen, but it's there everywhere and it's pushing galaxies away from each other at increasing speed. The universe is expanding so fast now, some galaxies have already vanished from view. And Earth? We're right in the middle of it. If dark energy keeps growing, space itself could rip apart. Planets, atoms, even time. Some call it the Big Rip, a point where even gravity stops working. And everything we know, every planet, every star, is torn to dust. What if I told you there was a galaxy out there that might be talking to us in colours? Would you believe me? Astronomers have spotted a distant galaxy unlike anything we've ever seen. Every few minutes it bursts into life. Flashes of pure impossible colour. Red, blue, green. Even shades the human eye can barely register. And it's not random. The sequence repeats over and over perfectly. This isn't a light echo, it's not a dying star, it's almost like the galaxy is sending a coded message, a pulse across millions of light years. Some think it's just a bizarre kind of cosmic phenomenon, but others whisper something far more incredible, that this could be the first real sign of an alien civilization, speaking in the only way they can be seen from this distance. And if colours truly carry emotion, then this galaxy isn't just alive. It's reaching out, broadcasting feelings from the other side of the universe. The question is, are we wise enough to hear it? There's a region in space where light disappears, where gravity twists in impossible directions, and everything we know about physics stops making sense. Scientists call it the Eridonus supervoid. It's one of the coldest, emptiest places we've ever found. No stars, no galaxies, no radiation, nothing. Just a hole over a billion light years wide. We weren't supposed to find anything like this. The laws of the Big Bang say space should be evenly spread. But here, there's just silence. Some scientists believe it's a glitch from the early universe. Others believe it's something else. One theory, it's where two universes collided. Another, it's a scar left by something powerful passing through. A structure, a craft, bigger than anything we've ever imagined. The region is still being studied, but nothing enters it and nothing comes out. Is this a cosmic accident or evidence of something beyond human understanding, something watching from the void. Do you ever wonder, what if the universe isn't just a collection of stars and planets? What if it's actually alive? In 2020, scientists noticed something strange. When they compared the structure of brain neurons to the structure of the universe, they found they looked almost identical. Seriously, side by side, the patterns of a human brain and the cosmic web of galaxies are nearly the same. Just think about that for a second. Our brains have around 86 billion neurons. The observable universe has about 100 billion galaxies, each connected through invisible filaments of dark matter and energy. It's like neurons in a brain, but on a cosmic scale. Now here's where it gets crazy. Both the brain and the universe process and exchange energy in a nearly identical way, which raises one mind-bending question. What if we're not just in the universe? What if we're inside a living, thinking system? A giant organism. Holes destroy information, according to that calculation. And that's a big deal, because nowhere else in all of physics does anything erase information from the universe? If I 
got this note pad and pen, right? And I, I wrote some things on it. And then I set fire to this, even just incinerated it, put it in a nuclear explosion, whatever. In principle, according to all the laws of nature that we know, if you collected everything that came off, all the radiation, all the bits of ashes and things, and you could just measure it all, then just in principle, the idea is you could reconstruct the information. The laws of nature say that information is not destroyed, it's just scrambled up in a way that you can't reconstruct. Right? But this calculation that Stephen did said there is no information in that radiation at all. Zero, I, just nothing. You have to address this question of what happened to all the stuff that fell in. And his calculation said that there's no record at all. We entertain the idea that it's possible that we are the only intelligent life in the known universe. I tend to restrict myself to the galaxy. Right. So I do mm. think it's possible that at the moment there's one civilization in the Milky Way. Wow. And that's us. And I think that's important, actually. You're looking for meaning or you're looking for how we should behave even. That has a bearing to me. I mean, imagine that we're the only place where there is intelligence in this galaxy. How should we behave? Right. Should we actually notwithstanding the fact that we're tiny and fragile things and insignificant physically should we consider ourselves extremely valuable in that respect i would go as far as to say there would be nowhere else where meaning exists in the milky way meaning. what is self-evidently true is that meaning exists here because it means something to us so that's kind of a an obvious statement your life means something to you and me and so meaning exists what if i told you there's a sound in space that's been playing for over 20 years and it's never changed, not even once. From the same exact point in the night sky, radio telescopes have been hearing a faint, pure tone. No distortion, no fading, no drift in frequency. Just the same note pulsing across the universe year after year, like a cosmic clock ticking in perfect rhythm. It's not coming from a star, a planet, or any known galaxy. In nature, every signal changes over time. They weaken, shift, or vanish. But this one, it's frozen, locked to something we can't see or detect. Some scientists think it's an entirely new kind of cosmic object. Others suspect it could be artificial, a deliberate broadcast designed to endure long after its creators are gone. If that's true, something has been calling us for two decades straight. The question is, what happens when it stops? When we look up at the night sky, it feels calm, almost eternal. The stars seem fixed, the galaxies motionless, as if the universe is a painting that never changes. But that picture is an illusion. In reality, everything you see, the Milky Way, the Andromeda Galaxy, even the faintest speck of light is moving, drifting through space at unimaginable speeds. And here's where it becomes truly strange. All of these galaxies, including our own, are being pulled in the same direction as if something hidden, something enormous, is calling them. Astronomers call it the Great Attractor. We cannot see it directly, but we know it's there, tugging on hundreds of thousands of galaxies with a force beyond comprehension. Now imagine this for a moment. Our entire galaxy, with all its stars and worlds, is not standing still. It is racing silently toward an unknown destination. Some believe it's just an immense cluster of galaxies. Others think it may be something far stranger. No matter what it is, we are already on the journey looks like it behaves like a quantum computer. If you're playing a computer game, then there's kind of a reality there, right? But it emerges from just bits, bits of information. We, we think that in some sense, and I keep saying in some sense, because we don't know, we don't have the language, but there's a sort of a network of bits, qubits, quantum bits. And that may be a description of the world, including ourselves and space and time. And, and this kind of emerges out of this network which looks a bit like a quantum computer. You can't edit it there. That is not to say that I'm saying we live in a simulation. I am not saying we live in a simulation. I'm saying it looks a bit like the universe has a description which is similar in a sense to a quantum computer. That matter. It won't
a bit of general relativity.